Welcome back. Now we take your questions. If you have a question yourself, send it to us at quranspeaks.com. So Dr. Shabir, the question that we have, um, it's, it has several parts. So maybe I'll start with the first part. Is it true that Islam teaches about the pre-existence of the soul? Uh, in, in classical books, yeah, this is what how um, this is commonly uh, presented like this. Soul pre-existed, and uh, God gathered uh, all of the souls in, in the land of the souls, and uh, then eventually put them in human bodies as we have now. And uh, it is even said in the hadith that uh, when the, uh, the embryo develops to a certain extent, um, uh, some interpretation of the hadith, 40 days old, some four months old, then the angel comes and breathes the soul into into the baby. Uh, and that's how we, you know, we have this body-soul dualism. That That's classical. Okay, so then does this mean, do you teach, so the viewer goes on to ask, do you teach that all souls were created in adult before their earthly life? but then God erases the memory from these souls with the one exception that God leaves the idea in our minds that, um, that, God, that God exists. Well, uh, the, the questioner here is uh, um, asking for clarification. Do we believe that? But uh, obviously when you think of the question, you realize uh, the difficulty with the classical belief. It would mean then that, uh, uh, though this was normally taught, yeah, that uh, we had this pre-existence and then God asked Allah to be rabbikum in the seventh chapter of the Quran, the 172nd uh, verse. Um, and, and, and people said, Bala, they, they confessed. And this is repeated in sermons many times with the basic idea that the soul had uh, already pre-existed. Also in the 33rd chapter of the Quran, it is mentioned that uh, God offered up the uh, responsibility to everything around us and everything um, uh, demurred from accepting that responsibility, the amana, as the, as the Quran puts it. Uh, except for human beings. Human beings accepted that amano or trust and, and we turned out in the end to be uh, um, wrongdoing and, and even ignorant. Uh, so the, uh, all of this points to pre-existence, but uh, the, the idea of that pre-existence becomes problematic because it would mean that uh, we have no memory of that pre-existence and, and we are too being told, okay, then you don't have any mem memory, just God just put it like that. So it, you're in this uh, earth only to remember from your previous existence that God is one and you'll be questioned uh, by God if you turn away from that belief in the oneness of God. What I would say to that is that today with the advances of science, uh, we, we, we do not think of a separate soul indwelling in the human being um, that pre-existed the, the human self. We see the um, whatever human personality that develops within us uh, to be very organic and related very much to uh, the human brain. So it would be better to think of the angel um, giving the breath into the, the human uh, baby and that developing into the human personality that we, that we have now. Uh, so all of those verses and, and ha uh, hadith can be interpreted in the light of this to say that the human uh, soul is what develops from within uh, after the initial spark from the angel and that is what we expect will survive after death. Thank you very much, Dr. Shabir. You're welcome.